12. I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets, you know. To going into the day, I, had, I didn't even have a shot to win, you know. All I was doing was just trying to catch as much as I could to, to gain points, you know, just not fall down too far. Um, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm real satisfied, especially after the first two tournaments of the year. Uh, I found myself at the bottom of the list. At Bull Shoals, I found the ladder to start climbing and uh, top 12 here. So, man, I'm just, I'm really excited, you know, to be out of the hole now and, and start working my way back up. Well, this, this particular tournament is the Tennessee River Lake, and uh, top water during the spawn and post spawn is a real big deal. And a big, noisy, uh, large profile top water bait is a big key here. So early in the week, the, the Walking Boss Part 2 was a key bait for me because I was fishing it around the shoreline around catching fish that were guarding fry and fish that were on the shad spawn. And then as the, the tournament progressed, I got on some schooling fish out on the open water and they, they weren't really keying in on a, on a steady moving bait. They wanted a bait that was kind of sloshing side to side. And that's a big key with the walking boss, the original walking boss. But you got to throw it on braided line. Braid is the key to being successful on both the walking boss and the walking boss part two because it's, it's an instant. Uh, reaction on the bait when you have braided line when you're twitching it side to side. This week they wanted it slosh, slosh, real slow and it, it kicks a lot of water and I let it lay there and it's just kind of bobbing in the waves and the sound is the shad sound, number three shad sound is just going and all of a sudden he, you can just see him pull it right down and I caught him as a nice, you know, almost three pounder. So Walking Boss and Walking Boss Part 2, kind of two different uh, scenarios that I like to use them both for but I keep them both tied on all the time. Thank <laughs> you.